He shall choose our inheritance for us. Psalm 47, verse 4. Believer, if your inheritance be a lowly one, you should be satisfied with your earthly portion, for you may rest assured that it is the fittest for you. Unerring wisdom ordained your lot, and selected for you the safest and best condition. The ship of large tonnage is to be brought up the river. Now, in one part of the stream there is a sandbank. Should someone ask, why does the captain steer through the deep part of the channel and deviate so much from a straight line? His answer would be, because I should not get my ship into harbor at all if I did not keep to the deep channel. So it may be, you would run aground and suffer shipwreck if your divine captain did not steer you into the depths of affliction, where waves of trouble follow each other in quick succession. Some plants die if they have too much sunshine. It may be that you are planted where you get but little. You are put there by the loving husbandman, because only in that situation will you bring forth fruit unto perfection. Remember this, had any other condition been better for you than the one in which you are, divine love would have put you there. You are placed by God in the most suitable circumstances, and if you had the choosing of your lot, you would soon cry, Lord, choose my inheritance for me, for by my self-will I am pierced through with many sorrows. Be content with such things as you have, since the Lord has ordered all things for your good. Take up your own daily cross. It is the burden best suited for your shoulder, and will prove most effective to make you perfect in every good work, and work to the glory of God. Down busy self and proud impatience, it is not for you to choose, but for the Lord of love. Trials must and will befall, but with humble faith to see, love inscribed upon them all. This is happiness to me. He shall choose our inheritance for us. Psalm 47, verse 4.